Informatic TV is it's a process and just another way to go about executing your media plans. So right now, in the true programmatic sense, in that digital world of immediacy, it is limited by the tech. In the OTT space, where Sling it, you know, plays, we can easily transact programmatically and have been. Uh, we're actually you know, first to market on that. There's been others now joining on, and that will continue to grow as the tech enables it to move at the speed of which the programmatic advertisers uh, are familiar with and most comfortable with. As a seller, a big misconception was that programmatic was going to come in and replace the human interaction, replace sellers, you know, take feet off the street because now we're just going to have machines talking to each other. And that's really not the case. Programmatic is, you know, as I mentioned, just a, another process to how you execute your buy. You still need to be able to interact with that salesperson and that buyer in order to know what we're putting into the pipes, what you're looking for, what opportunities might be coming up. The real value in programmatic is when we go beyond just a regular demo. So in order to make sure that we, you know, on the supply side are filling it with the right uh, inventory, we need to know exactly what you're going after. Who's looking for what? So that human interaction will maintain and need to be there. So the notion that programmatic is, is going to kind of change or ruin the you know, seller-buyer dynamic that exists today, I think that's a big falsehood. The programmatic space, I would say the biggest pioneers there are the digital advertisers that are open to transferring into that TV universe, uh, but doing it in a way that they're most comfortable they were familiar with and comfortable with their programmatic platform and how they were buying. And now, through our OTT platform, they're now allowed to go into live cable programming. So, where they were primarily dealing with a pre or a mid-roll, the OTT platform now allows them to be part of Monday Night Football. Perhaps it's The Walking Dead. You know, some of today's best television is taking place on cable. And this is live video, uh, so now the programmatic advertiser gets to be involved with and in that same message as some of today's largest brands. As far as a brand wanting to go programmatic, that's just which process they're familiar with. If they're set up internally or if they have a relationship with you know, um, a DSP, they're okay with going that way. So that's just really a functionality element. The leap going from a traditional TRP driven media schedule to now being an impression based media buy based on their core audience, that was a larger leap of faith. Different metrics are involved. Nielsen has been the currency that we've, you know, buy, sell, and trade on. The way to do that really is based upon the level of conversation and the depth of the conversation. It's not just, you know, a one thing fits all. You really do have to tailor it to each, each client's needs and what specifically they want or should be going after. Innovation is the cornerstone of DISH. Not just the media sales team, but the company at large. You know, we're first to market in many different areas when it comes to satellite TV and, and what we deliver to the consumer. We've applied that same amount of tech and innovation on the media side. So that means that we are out in front, whether it is programmatic, whether it's OTT, whether it's addressable television, we are at the forefront. And we stay there by making sure that our sellers continue to evolve and learn. And they learn best by being hands-on, by utilizing our full toolkit and our available products, it allows them to continue to, to learn to grow as a salesperson and for us to all grow as a sales organization.